Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to Seguin, Texas. If you're new to the channel, we travel around all types of cities, states, and towns. Buckle up and enjoy the ride. So, Seguin, south of San Marcos, is growing like crazy. As a matter of fact, it's about five years ago, they were building about 100 homes here a year. Now it's about a thousand. Population just under 30,000 at the time of the video has probably changed since uh, Google releases their annual census count. Cool city. A lot of history here. Close to San Antonio. On Austin Street right now, heading towards the center of town. I mean, just look around, all these new buildings, additions. That's a gas station right there, pretty decent sized one. Been noticing that's a growing trend, is to have these big, you know, multi bathroom gas stations with a couple of food options inside. A lot of local restaurants here. We just stopped for some tacos at Noe's. Noe's Tacos, Noe's Corner, Noe's Cafe. Good food. Houses have that Victorian look to them. Old three stories. Probably built in the early 1900s. Looks like this is the old downtown. Straight ahead. Check that out. Gas is two seventy nine. No way. Gas through the state average at this time three thirty. All my sons is playing. That's a cool movie theater. Oh, it's got the old ticket booth. That's great. No idea what that movie is, but that looks cool. Well, there you have it, 1838. I love the Every video, I know I say it, I love these old downtowns. So cool. The old fire escape there on that building to the left. Burnt Bean Barbecue. I saw that when we were looking at some food options. 
It's a nice little city city park area. What is that? Star Key. Serving the South, serving South, I can't see it. Serving South Texas since early 1900s. Can't read the date. That's a cool Wells Fargo there. Right, we'll turn here on Nolte Street. Since 1910, wow. 122 years. I'm sorry, 112 years. It's early. That's a cool hotel, Park Plaza. This goes great. Check out some of these residential houses up here. So we are now on Court Street. You know, I mean, you could live here and easily commute. I don't know, maybe South Austin might not be too bad of a drive, but San Antonio, San Marcos are all pretty decent, decently close. You know, 30, 35 minutes, maybe more. But certainly not bad considering, I mean, if you live in a big metro area, you're going to fight hour of traffic anyways. This way it's just a stretch of highway at this time. But yeah, I've, I've uh, been told that that land between here and San Marcos is just... It's already all bought up, just sitting on dirt waiting for it to be developed. Oh, we're on 90 as well, okay. So this can take you, shoot, all the way to Houston. Oh, well, there's a 317 gas. So yeah, I don't think that 279 was, uh, Truth. I don't know. Coming up to the high school here, Seguin High School. I wonder what division that is. Let me know in the comments if you know. Imagine a town like this has got to be a four or five A. I'd say a five A. We're on King Street, heading north. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice neighborhood. Looks like this home's got a little bit of land on them. About a half acre, maybe more. Nice spread out one-story homes. I'm guessing 50s, 60s.
Matadors. That's cool. Seguin Matadors. Here's the ISD building here to the right. It's, the stadium's back though. It's a hell of a stadium. Arlen's Market. That's like a Kroger's or a Randall's or something. They're fighting the bulls. Gotta have some, uh, <laughs> gotta have some big hope to do that. <laughs> well, looks like Luling straight ahead. It's an oil town. <laughs> 